Kilviller, two churches, 500 inhabitants, but at the end of the main street, an institution in the region. The Royal Palace, the third largest cabaret in France, after Paris's Moulin Rouge and Lido. But how do you explain such a success in a small remote village in Alsace? The first reason is Pierre Maillard, the boss of the establishment for more than 40 years. I started here with 1,200 square meters, and today we have more than 8,000. Look, foie gras and brioche, and a swan that I carved in ice. Pierre Meyer started out cooking in his parents' dance floor restaurant. I was still a chef. That's me with my mother. We did country-style buffets with huge spit roasts. But the icing on the cake was the band with the little show that I bought already in place with six or seven dancing girls who came from Paris. A masterstroke which would change everything. 1980. On the bill, Pigalle night with dancers from Paris. We were fully booked. We advertised the show, and a few days later, we were sold out. It was so new in the region. With an E or an H at the end. Today, more than 200,000 guests come every year. For Versailles, can you see the rich party to their places? Four people. The boss insists on greeting guests every night. She'll see you to your places. Enjoy your evening, ladies and gents. When I see all these people arriving every day, I think, where on earth do they all come from? Over the years, the cabaret has become so attractive, dancers come from all over the world. Ala has been a show leader for 10 years. She lives 15 kilometers away with her son David and her partner, also a dancer at the Royal Palace. They live in the countryside and wouldn't change their daily life for anything in the world. This is what attracted us, this lost village. We have a beautiful view. It's a magnificent place for us. The forest, it's charming, the cows. <laughs> Ella's days are usually very busy. Because on top of dancing at the Royal Palace, she gives modern dance lessons. Try not to bend your knees, like this. Her pupils are mainly young girls who are very admiring of their teacher. She's very nice. She's full of energy. Um, Perfectionist. Right. She's very elegant. She moves very well. She's a real dancer. It's so beautiful, it made me want to take classes as well. <laughs> Apart from the artists, the cabaret's 90 employees are all from the region. Today, Tiffany Touch will be working 18 hours on the trot. There are two shows today, so both a lunch and dinner service. It'll be a very long day. But to tell you the truth, I don't see the time pass, especially when we're fully booked. And it's the high season now. On days with the show, the population of Kervillers triples, going from 500 to 1,500 people. Tiffany has already started the first service, at a sprint. How many kilometers do you walk in a day? For the two services, um, 40. A marathon. One guest in three is German. At their table, gourmets aren't disappointed. Is it good? Yes, it's perfect. It's a chicken terrine with foie gras. After the meal, 
excitement mounts. The guests take their seats for the first show of the day. The Royal Palace stages a new show every year. Everything runs like clockwork. Dancers are barely dressed in crinoline, feathers, rhinestone, and a hint of avant-garde to surprise the public. In fact, it's very modern. I was expecting lots of frills. But this is really good, really good indeed. The boss, Pierre Meyer, is indefatigable. Every night, he replays the film of his life, from the time of the little family dance floor restaurant, still bowled over by how far he's come. <laughs> 